guy named Brian who's here tonight. He's been battling some bullshit for a few years, and he has to go back into the hospital this Friday to continue to fight. I just want to wish him the best of luck. Thank him so much for spending this night with us. This song is about the shitty hands that life can deal us. Annie up. Drum monitor, please, sound man. Thank you. Yo, you kids in the back are going fucking sick. And it looks amazing from here, and we really, really appreciate it. I just want to ask you guys to just try to keep egos in check. Don't let your fists start swinging. I mean, it looks fucking amazing, and we love it. We don't want anyone to get hurt. We don't want any fights, any bullshit. So just police yourselves. You guys are fronting going to sing with us all night tonight, right? Top of your fucking lungs, I hope, because this feels great. You are not a slave! You are not a slave!
for fucking charge man that was awesome people have been telling me for quite a while it feels like I've been hearing about that band for like a few years I don't know if they were together a while ago and then they broke up and now they're back or if it's my imagination but I feel like for years people have been telling me people that know my taste in music and the kind of shit that I really get into that I have to check out this Jersey band called charge and I've never been able to hear them before tonight, and it was just dead on. I totally felt it. So excited to hear your 7-inch next week. And it's just great to have a band with strong, progressive things to say on stage, you know. I think it's important for bands to challenge their audience to think a little bit. And I just wish that band all the luck, and hopefully we continue to play shows with them. Y'all got some energy left, right? We got to pick this up now. Let's get this fucking place going. So many! Stood back right into all! Play away in life! Raise it! Stop! Raise it! Stop! Stop!
song for a second. It's called Scared. Yo, how many of you guys have the Minor Thread record, Out of Step? How many of you guys have ever seen that cover? Amazing record cover. It's got a flock of white sheep all heading in one direction, all looking perfectly cute and sheep-like. And then there's this one squiggly, black, crazy-looking sheep running the other way. And the name of the record is called Out of Step. And I just think it's such a beautiful concept not to follow along, not to be one of the sheep. And it's real easy to say that's what you're going to do, and that's how you're going to live your life. But to actually do it, to actually break from that path and to go your own way, despite what everybody is expecting of you, your parents, your peers, your professors, your priests, everyone is telling you this is the path you have to go. Look, everybody's heading down, and you got to go that way. And to actually shake your head and turn and take your own road is a hard fucking thing to do. But I believe that it's just one of the most beautiful choices you can make in this life. <laughs> to step to your own rhythm. And it doesn't have to stop when you're 19, 22. There's no time where you all of a sudden have to fall back in line and play by the rules again. I'm 34 years old and still have no interest at all in following those white sheep. So it's really up to you. Can I get a pit report? Everything cool back there? No beef, I hope? I can't see. I just see bodies flailing literally from post to post. Everyone's keeping it chill? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. This song's called Speechless.
girlfriend gave me this fucking knee shit to rub on my knees because my knees are all fucked and I got it in my eyes and my eyes are burning did the whole room just fucking laugh man just come see me outside and we'll spray some of that shit in your eye so Nadu, man Justin Nadu, he's been a friend of ours since the jump, man, he's been coming to our shows. If it's within 120 miles of his house. Further than that, he's there. He used to run a skate company and hook us up with all kinds of gear. 36 today. I can't. He doesn't look a day over 30, man. I'm shocked that he's that old. Happy birthday, Justin. This is the last night of this EVR showcase tour little road trip that we went on down to Austin, Texas. And he followed along with Ricky. Paul came for part of it, and then a girl named Brittany came for the second half. And uh, to be honest with you, we didn't give them, we didn't think they were going to make it past Texas. It was 10 shows in 11 days. Texas was right dab in the middle, and we said, that's about as far as they're going to make it. They were stuffed into a little Volkswagen. We weren't making it easy on them at all. And they just had to videotape and photo and fucking follow our bullshit around and we just made it as hard as possible. So we thought they were going to be broken by Texas. They never missed a show. They've been so great. And not only have they done their jobs with EVR, but every night they've managed to get off one or two terrible stage dives <laughs> in a sing-along a little bit. So you guys did it. It was really fun to have you along. Make that DVD look cool, man. You guys got to work hard. This is a brand new song. The first one is called Don't Go. I don't want you to go. Rain of water. 
So I just want to thank all the bands, those that played tonight and those that didn't play tonight. Give it up for the Liars Academy. I've been forward to the for a long time. Silent Drive, newcomers to the label. Check out that shit. This is my first time checking them out, and they're very excited to be sharing a label with them. And some other bands we play with on this tour are Armor for Sleep. Don't ask me why they're not here, man. That doesn't make sense, because they live here, but they couldn't play tonight. Alexis on Fire, Bear vs. Shock, Kobe and Cameron. It's just cool to be part of a label that has such diversity going on and lets their band sort of do their own thing. They never pressure us to do that rock and roll crap they know what we're all about. It's, I don't know, they've just been really supportive of us, so we were happy to be able to do this tour and I'm kind of sad that it has to end tonight. But that's the way things go, good things end, man. <coughs> Sometimes just to feel like a human being, man. Sometimes you gotta get out there and you gotta break a window or you gotta moon a stranger or you gotta just do something ill to know that you're fucking a heart beating human being, not a machine. It's about the sunflowers and the sunset. 